Hello and welcome to my reaction to uh, Season 7, Episode 4 of Game of Thrones. Uh, I've just watched the episode, um, so I wanted to share with you some of my thoughts. Um, see what you think. Please put your reactions and comments in the comments section. Uh, let me just warn you now, this does contain spoilers, so if you haven't seen the episode yet, uh, I advise you to watch that first. Um, there was a fantastic uh, battle sequence. Um, basically, the Lannisters' chain of loot, which they have plundered from High Garden from that battle uh, from the previous episode. Um, Daenerys has had enough. Basically, she found out that in um, she found out that they took um, Casterly Rock, that the Unsullied have taken Casterly Rock, but they haven't actually. Um, you know, there was no soldiers there really because they'd all been abandoned there was, and there was no um, supplies as well. And all their ships had been burnt. So the Unsullied are slowly making their way, uh, presumably by foot, uh, maybe by horse, um, across Westeros. Um, but in the meantime, um, Daenerys has had enough. She is uh, leapt on top of... Uh, one of her dragons, Drogon, I believe, and has attacked the Lannisters' um, party. Uh, although after Jaime had uh, sent the the gold to the the Iron Bank to pay to pay their debts, remember Lannisters always pay their debts. Um, so, but yeah, so she came on her dragon with the Dothraki over the hill and um, burnt quite a lot of uh, the Lannister army. And um, Jamie had the opportunity. There was a wonderful moment. Jamie had the opportunity to try and kill uh, Denny, and that was Danny. Uh, sorry, and that was quite a shocking moment. Um, but then, at the last minute, um, Bron, uh, you know, jumped, jumped on him, took him out of the way of Drogon's fiery breath, um, because by this time, Bron. Had brought down um, Drogon with the uh, with the arrow from the the new weapon, um, and um, it seems the dragon's okay, and Daenerys is okay as well, uh, and Jaime and, and, and Bronn are still still okay as well. And then there was some some nice scenes as well um, before Daenerys went to. To, to do this um, back on uh, Dragonstone, um, John was showing the cave paintings from the the uh, the children of the forest, um, and it shows that they united with the with the first men against the White Walkers. So he's trying to convince Daenerys to um, to basically uh, join with him in the fight against the uh, the Night King and his uh, hordes. Uh, and she was almost prepared to. There was one moment I thought she was going to agree to it, but then she said, "No, you have to bend the knee." So it's like, "Oh, yeah, bend the knee, bend the knee," uh, but which of course John refused. Um, and then there were some nice scenes in Winterfell. Uh, Arya was reunited with Sansa, and um, also with um, um, Bran. And um, although Bran is saying he's not really Bran anymore, he's the th three-eyed uh, mm -hmm. Raven. Um, and uh, Sansa is, is is beginning to realize what Arya has become. You know, she always wanted to do all this sword stuff, and she was a bit of a tomboy from the beginning. But I think she was quite surprised the way Arya is now. You know, when she could see Arya fighting um, in the in the in the practice fighting um, with Brienne, um, she was quite taken aback. Um, with the the fact that I said she had a list of people she was trying to kill, um, so that was I don't think I'm not sure she really believed that, but then she saw the way I was like the sword play and all her skills, and I think she was quite quite shocked and impressed. But she asked her at one point. It was quite interesting. She asked her um, what who else is on her list, her kill list, basically. And she said, oh, most, uh, she, she gave a non-committal answer, she said, most people are already dead. Um, but I wonder if Littlefinger is still on that kill list. 
So that's what I'm wondering if if uh, if at some stage she will end Littlefinger for for the way he betrayed Ned. Uh, so well, that remains to be seen. But yeah, if you like this video, please like, share, and uh, subscribe, and put your comments. Uh, I would like to hear them. Thanks very much.